Hi everyone, Paul ISM, welcome to the Bench Update. So, the live show tonight, um, there's no normal live show as such, um, because we've got the Models for Heroes charity auction tonight. Um, so I thought, I'm not going to be showing what we've been building, buying, I thought I'll do a quick Bench Update. Um, quick run through, need to do one anyway, and I can talk about Models for Heroes a little bit as well. Um, so yeah, it's 7.30 tonight, UK time, 8.30 um, Europe, 1.30 uh, PM Central US, and I believe it's about 4:30 uh, for New Zealand, Australia. Maybe I might be wrong. Uh, we're going to be doing our second charity auction for Models for Heroes. So uh, we've got about 70 different things to auction off. It's massive compared to last time. I think last time we had 30 to 40, so we've got double the amount of things to auction off. All kind of donated by you guys, uh, the live crew. Companies, we've had things bought for us, complete strangers donate stuff. It's been absolutely mind blowing the amount of stuff we've got. I'm gonna have a quick run through in a minute of what we've actually got to donate. Donate auction, keep saying this stuff. Uh, <laughs> uh, so, I'm gonna have a look, see what we've got, and uh, we can show you very quickly. Then, I'll have a quick look at what I've been building lately, blah blah blah, and uh, we'll have a look through. Um, so yeah, like I say, no normal live show. The whole night tonight is dedicated to Models of Heroes, so please be there. If you've not put it on your Facebook page or your forum or to your friends about it, please tell them. Every other person we get there, every extra person we have, we know we've got 180, 200 viewers. We need more viewers tonight. We need more people. Put their hands in the pockets. You're going to buy a kit. You're going to make a donation and help an absolutely fantastic charity. So we need you there tonight. So that's tonight, Friday the 6th, on this channel, International Scale Modeler. 7.30 UK, 8.30 Europe, 1.30 US, 4.30 Australia. And uh, please come and join us and help us and see what we can raise for this fantastic charity. Now, what we're going to do, um, first off, the Live of the Bench fa uh, Facebook group, where the links for this are put up, uh, the live show put up, sorry, information about it. You need to join that, really, if you're going to bid. What we're going to do, we're going to put a post up on there. If you win something, post in there. Uh, obviously, your name will be there because you posted what you've won, and then we can contact you uh, about payments rather than while we're trying to run the auction, trying to get payments, etc. Ivan uh, will then contact you with the payment details, and you can pay that way. So if you've not joined the ISM uh, Live at the Bench Facebook group, uh, that's the show you look for. I'll put the link in the description below. And you want to bid tonight, please click on it, join it, and just keep an eye out on there um, for the thread later tonight. The rules for the auction are on there as well, as is the preliminary, a preliminary list of uh, auctionable uh, products and goods we have. Um, they're up there as well. Tim's been very busy uh, on keynotes doing that. And I'm going to run through it in a minute very quickly and have a look as well what we've got. We've got some phenomenal stuff to auction off tonight. It's going to be immense. Uh, it's going to be very busy, but it's going to be immense. Um, I'll probably start the show a little bit earlier, probably about quarter past seven, uh, which is 15 minutes earlier than normal, just so we can get the viewers up. Uh, we can talk a little bit, a couple of minutes beforehand, and then hopefully, bang on 7.30, we'll start with the auctions. We'll put all the, how can I word it, the higher dollar value goods, higher pound value goods at the beginning. Um because they're the ones that are going to raise the most money. So that's why we've done that. And the sponsor ones as well. Some of the companies out there that have donated have been very, very generous. So they've been bumped up to the front a bit. Uh, and everything else has been spread out evenly throughout uh, the night. So it's going to be a long night. But hopefully we can do some good for a brilliant charity. If you don't know what Models for Heroes is, head on over to their uh, website. Malcolm and all those guys and girls over there do a brilliant job. Um, Helping with PTSD uh, and other issues with ex-servicemen and women uh, by modelling. It's the hobby we do. I do this for a reason and a lot of other people do. So it's well worth supporting and definitely worth a look. There we go. Anyway, sorry about waffling. What we'll do, we go to my bench very quickly first. Have a look at what I've been doing. And then we'll come back and have a look through uh, the keynotes at what we've got to watch inside. So let's go to the bench, get my crap out of the way. And uh, we'll come back and talk about the important stuff. Right, okay, so I can't exactly remember what I showed you last time. I've got a rough idea, um, so I'll start rough where I left off. So, car kits. Um, I was building Tamiya's 24-scale uh, Lancer Evo 7, the Mitsubishi. Um, 
done in the Mobile One scheme, different to the normal red scheme that you see on the car. Uh, lovely set of decals. I think they were rip-off decals, unfortunately, but a very, very nice set. Now, one problem I did have, as you can probably see, is bleed-through of the red bodywork. You'll see in some areas are pink and some are white. Absolutely <laughs> a pain in the backside is what it is. Um, but it's one of those things, the camera does make it look worse than it actually is. It's not that pink in real life. But the rear boot is the worst place of it all. Didn't show through at first. Literally after it was 2K cleared, it started to bleed through. I believe it's a common problem. It's never happened to me before. Um, and what it is, is because I used white primer over the red body. So next time I'll be using grey. I use grey on the spoiler, which I sprayed separately. Uh, and as you can see, it's a real difference between the whites there. So lesson learned, if you're changing colours, going from red to white, etc., you need a colour that blocks out that colour, a uh, primer colour, so white doesn't cut it. Um, so next time I'm using grey, which is exactly what I used on that spoiler, and that thing's beautifully brilliant white. Uh, and a real shame, but other than that, it's come out well. It still looks good in the display case. Um, we've got the Speedline aftermarket rims for it. Uh, from Renaissance, I think they were, and um, belt side of my own belts in there as well. I've been buying ribbon left, right, and center everywhere I can, trying to find two and three mil ribbon. That's a scale motorsport stuff in there. I've got an almost endless amount of PE for the buckles and that now. Other than the bleed through, it's not really well. Like I say, those decals are lovely, and it's nice to see the car in a non standard color scheme. It really is. Uh, so very happy with that, but like I say, a little bit pink in places, the camera does accentuate it, but a little bit disappointing, a bit of a pain in the backside to be honest. So lesson learned with that one. Uh, next up, uh, that was a buddy wheel with my uh, friend Sam, we then decided to do uh, the BMAX BMWs again. So this is the E30 BMW from BMAX, again 24 scale kit, absolutely beautiful kit. Uh, I chose this scheme uh, because I think it's just absolutely stunning it really is a beautiful beautiful scheme um so they are the decal cast decals michelin alpina uh we got the alpina rims from scale productions i think it was um not cheap rims at all um truly split rims uh all aluminium so they've all been sprayed in the green um 2k the body works the green and blue from zero paints Green went down, not a problem. The blue started to do that crappy hazing crap that it likes to do, um, which is really disappointing with those paints, uh, which is why I'm moving over to Tamiya more and more if I can. But these are absolutely lovely kits. And um, again, the scheme is just so, so vibrant and just absolutely beautiful. Really love it. And those rims just set it off. Absolutely brilliant. I've got a few more of these in the stash. They're about to release the rally version of it as well. Uh, so I'll be grabbing a few more of them. I've built a Rothmans version. I've got a load more decal options in my decal drawer. Developed a little bit of a decal problem. <laughs> uh, aftermarket decals. Count them the day and I've got nearly 50 sets. And that's, yeah. Anyway, moving on. Um, but yeah, highly recommend this kit. If you've not built one and you're a fan of the BMWs like I am, um, you've got to get it. It's a stunning, stunning kit. Really, really cool. Um, another buddy build with myself and Sam. Me and Sam buddy build our cars together. It's how we do it. This is uh, Tamiya's 24 scale Peugeot 206. Um, this will be... Whose car is this? I forget the name now. Mine's gone blank. Is it Burns' car? I think it's Richard Burns' car. Um, so, out of the box, um, completely. All I'll add is a set of uh, my own belts. So it was 2K cleared yesterday. It's a beautiful silver colour. I don't yet have a silver rally car in my display case. So, very, very nice. So the kit decals. They went down with no real bother apart from these red ones. There's one, two, three, four, five, and there's six parts in those red ones there. And to get them to conform to all those different areas and contours, and that was a bit of a nightmare. But it went down really well, other than that. Um, definitely got the Tammy decals down to a fine art now with the warm water, the micro set and sole used correctly as per the instructions. And uh, yeah, this is lovely. So this uh, is going to be left to cure probably till Sunday. I like to leave it a couple, two, three days normally. It's such dry now. Literally can't handle it now. Um, but there'll be masking to do. Probably have to do some window surrounds. 
Uh, I've got lights to glue on. There's a bit of manhandling too, so I always like to make sure it is fully cured. Spoilers there as well. That's been left off, as has the roof scoop. Um, and lovely little kit. Again, I've got a few more of these in the stash. Um, and there's plenty of decal options out there as well. Uh, I know Gary Constable, you must have put a ton of these, buddy. Because <laughs> he sent me all his uh, spare decals. I've got tons of spare decals for these. Um, kit decals, lovely, very, very nice. And the rims as well, the uh, Oz rims, all been painted, decaled, and 2K'd as well. So really, really nice, coming along really well. Aircraft, the last bench update I did, I was literally, and I mean literally, starting this. Uh, so this is Hasegawa's day second scale uh, J2 M3 Raiden. Absolutely stunning kit. Recommended me to buy my uh, my friend Norm, um, who because of you, mate, I have eight Hasegawa kits in the stash now. Just in thirty second, um, it's a bad influence as I am on other people, but this kit is just absolutely brilliant. My only criticism, you can't see the engine, and it's a real shame, but it's just one of those things. Um, this was painted in Tamiya XF70 on top, XF12 underneath. Um, everything was sprayed, all the markings, the ID bands, uh, everything bar these decals there, 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 and there, and those as well. Everything else has been sprayed. I'm going to butcher it now, but the Hinamuras, uh, the Meatballs, or the Rising Suns, they were used, uh, done with a Montes Max set. Um, sprayed up weathered <clears throat> they turned out absolutely beautifully and uh yeah as to the ones on the side the yellow id bands and stripes and mask off these are a pig over the guns really well underneath i've not gone mad weathering uh in fact i've not really done much at all uh just wanted to get this thing finished it was on the bench it was my first real uh pick me up of aircraft because i've lost my mojo a little bit and i didn't want to ruin it so you don't see underneath at the end of the day. Um, so I didn't go mad. Um, upper surfaces, absolutely beautiful. Very happy with that. The exhaust looked great. Uh, props not bad. Like I say, very happy with my paintwork. My usual fading, mottling, etc. And that interior, absolutely lovely. Massive cockpit. Absolutely huge in there. And it's all out the box. All I've added is... Um, the uh, belts, that's a set of our paper belts from UMP, and they actually look very, very good. Uh, and a little bit of easy line for the antenna rig as well. Other than that, this thing is completely out of the box, um, bar the Montes mass set for the canopy and the markings, and very happy with that. Very good kit, and I in fact bought another one the other day. I'm going to do it in US capture markings, so bare metal finish, uh, US stars on it. And uh, it looks very good like that. It looks very P47-ish. Which, funnily enough, leads me on to my next bit, which is this one. So, I did start um, HK Models' beautiful Dornier 335. Um, it's a lovely kit, but like I say, with me trying to get this mojo back, I need simple kits. And I thought, it's a little bit more than I want to do right now. Done quite a bit of work to the interior. Um... So I'll put it back in the box, <clears throat> and I'll pick it up at a later date. I will get back to it. Um, so what I thought I'd start, another Hasegawa kit, but this time it's the Dotty Main P47. Um, so I started this, can't remember now, four or five days ago, maybe not even that, and this is where we're at now. So the engine's all uh, been painted up. So it was primed, uh, the aluminium sprayed on the back, hopefully you can see that all right. Um, the front parts are all UMP grey primer. It's been wired using the PE wiring harness that comes with the kit. And then given a homemade oil wash all over as well. And for a kit engine, it's beautiful. Really, really nice. So loving that. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, cockpit went together with no real issues at all. Again, if you can see in there, no, you know... Bells and whistles, I'm not over weathered it. Like I say, I just want to get these things built. I'm not going mad. I did weather the Raiden copy quite a bit. This one I've done a little bit cleaner. Um, Copy's all in, complete out of the box. Um, yep, yeah. all the Edward goodies. You've got the Edward Zoom set, which is in there, the instrument panel. Hopefully, you can see that. The side panels, seat belts. Newer style seat belts from Edward, lovely. Very, very nice. Um, you can bend them over, all the paint flaking over. 
Uh, they're pre-weathered as well. I've put an oil wash on them. Turned out very well. All fits in there lovely. It's buttoned up pretty damn nice as you can see. There's no real filler I can see going to be needed yet. But we're going to need some very careful sanding along that top ski, um, seam there. Because there's a lot of detail to not lose. So that's great. And last night I built up my wheelbase. Both sides. And these just slot in place. Like so. There we are. And there we go. Like I say, once they're pushed in properly, there's no gaps, no issues, and it's a big old plane. It's bigger than the Raiden. It's uh, it's definitely got a beat on size. So, yeah, chugging along well with this. Um, and that's it, really. Next car build, I'm not sure. Uh, beginning of next month, we're going to do the NASCAR build. So, beginning of May, um, we're going to do a month's NASCAR build. Um, me and Sam will be carrying on with our little buddy bill. So if you see them when we're joining, by all means feel free. Uh, I know Gary Constable starting his uh, British Rally Icons Legends GB uh, SIG in June, I think it was, 1st of June. Um, so there's a few of those builds going on. Myself and the guys, as well as the ISM group builds and that, we've got a few other builds um, in the pipeline as well, buddy builds. So there'll probably be a Japanese one. I was going to say maybe Pacific uh, Theatre of War one, which we can incorporate the Japanese and the US stuff as well, um, as well as a few others in the pipeline that I'll announce when we get near the time. Right, there you go. Busy, busy, busy man. Uh, as always, uh, I'm my uh, I am getting the itch to build a bike again as well, which is good. I have tried before. I've got one that's part built that I keep going back to. Just can't get the interest. Well, Carla Statin uh, shared an old Tamiya catalogue the other day, and inside it was the exploded built version of that. Tamiya's lovely 112 NXR 750, the Paris Dakar bike, in the Rothman scheme. Uh, absolutely beautiful kit. Quite hard to find now, worth quite a bit of money. And then, then I got a brand new set of Shunko decals, and I love this bike. Uh, it's beautiful. And yeah, like I say, in the old catalogue, there it was, exploded. Uh, view and I thought yeah I've got to build that I really really do so absolutely fantastic um, yeah so enjoying the cars as I always do enjoying the aircraft again which is good and like I say I want to get back into the bikes and shock horror I went and bought a kitty hawk kit <gasps> yeah bought that yesterday or the day before £46 off eBay uh, out of somebody's stash I know it's meant to be it's got a few issues but I just love that saber dog it's such a good looking plane it really is so We'll give it a whirl and see. I've got these, all of these up here. Pro well, all this Hasegawa's, there's eight of them up there. All these ones here. Norman Denison's fault. Yes, Norman. Um, yes, recommending kits, me going out and buying them and adding to the rest of those dirty second scale. There's some upstairs in the house as well. Uh, it's a problem. It's, a, it's an epidemic. There we are. Right, so what we'll do now, I'm going to put you on screen share on the Mac and we're going to have a look at um, what we've got prize-wise, prize-wise, auction-wise tonight. See, I'm on auto, auto pilot because of the live show. Um, auction-wise tonight, I'm going to look through all the lots we've got tonight. So sit back, have a cup of tea, put your feet up, kick the cat out of the room, and uh, have a look at what we've got for tonight. Right, okay, so these are our auction kits for tonight's live auction. So... Let's have a look what we've got. So first off from martinair-craft.net, we've got a Sparmax GP850 spray gun. Very, very nice. Acura Army very kindly donated a 135th resin Lloyd carrier personnel. Uh, I believe that's a... Is that a Bren gun carrier? It might be. might not be. Um, we also got from email we've got the Dragon 135th IDF M3. Very nice. Uh, from scale modeling now, Jeff Coughlin has donated a 32nd scale Focke Wolf Revel 190. AV modeler, uh, kind of donated a Tacom 135 Tyran 4. Very nice. Bear Hobbies, donated the Hobby Boss 48 scale Bear Cat. Edward, uh, donated the 148 Royal Class Focke Wolf 190. Acker Arms also donated the 135 Humber Scout. Uh, Edward, donated the 148 BF109G, uh, the Mersu, uh, BF109 in Finland. Very nice. AV Modeler, uh, donated a Tacom 135 T3034. 
Uh, Martin again, air-craft.net, has donated the Sparmax SP20X. And also, I believe it was Tomcat, uh, I think his name is Neil on the forum, donated the airbrush holder as well. Very generous, doing those together. Uh, Steve Bellaby donated the 135th Vosper uh, MTB boat. Absolutely beautiful kit. Huge, I think. Absolutely massive. Edward also donated the uh, P40. Uh, which is the Hasegari boxing with all their goodies. Absolutely beautiful in the Edward kit. Um, myself and Lee, uh, Ultra Modern Projects, donated a UMP Apex airbrush. And again, uh, Tomcat off the forum donated the uh, prize he won of the Iwata airbrush cleaning station. Scale Modeler now has donated a year's subscription to their website. Very good. Uh, Sergeant Bones, Bill, donated his prize of the King Tiger, 135th from Tacom. Uh, we've got the Mothers for Heroes merch, so we've got the poster, the t-shirt, which I believe are no, not yet available, uh, only one of five made, and the ladies not included, uh, and the mug as well, very, very nice. So that's the first lot of our kits, we're going to auction off. Lot 2, uh, starting off with the Hobby Boss 48 scale SU27, which Peter very, very kindly donated. Uh, we've got the 35th scale Nashorn from Dragon, uh, very kindly donated by HG Barnes. Uh, we've got the Airfix Sea Hurricane in 48 scale from Scale Modeling now again as well. Uh, Luke Carswell, very kindly donated the Airfix 48 scale links and figures. Uh, James Olsen, he donated some money for us to buy some kits to auction. Uh, so Tim went on the hunt and uh, bought the Revel 172 Shackleton. Uh, Andreas, uh, one of the live crew members, uh, donated the Meng 135th, that's going to be, not 132, BMR 3M, Russian mine cleaning vehicle. Uh, Matthias Rex, Matt, very kind of donated Tammy as 148 P47. He also donated the Fire Mold 148 TIE Fighter and the beautiful Tammy 148 G4M1 Betty. That's a lovely kit, that one. Uh, myself and the Light Crew put some money together and did the uh, we bought the Hasegawa 132 P40. Lovely kit. Gary Constable donated the Ferrari F819. Sorry. <laughs> Uh, from Tamiya in 120th scale, very nice. Uh, Graham, Black 73 Cat, donated the 148th Edward Hellcat Profi Pack. Uh, Norman Dennison, donated the FX 148th Merlin. Uh, Steve Bellaby also donated the Academy 132nd KF16. Uh, absolutely lovely kit, getting hard to find now as well. Cy Dennis, donated Edward 172 Hind. Guy Constable, donated the uh, Tamiya 120th. Uh, McLaren MP44 with a taboo decal set in there as well. That's our second lot. Lot 3. Andreas donated the 135th Trumpeter BMP3. Uh, Sam McCord, uh, the Revel 125th NASCAR. Uh, that is in the Sitco colours. Very nice. Peter also donated the Great War Hobby 148th F15. Lovely kit. I'll build that myself. Myself and the Ultra Modern Products is our Mega Pack of Sanders. Uh, Sam McCord has donated the 124th Fujimi Ferrari 330p4. Uh, Graham, again, Black 73 Cat, has donated the Meng 135th Leopard 1. Uh, myself, uh, donated a couple of car kits. So we've got the um, Grark 2 Grand Turbo and the High Ace. Uh, Scale Model Jedi, Simon, donated the 112 Stormtrooper from Bandai. Matt Richardson uh, donated his prize from the live show of Tamiya's 35th scale Gepard. Uh, Timothy Ivitz, he's got his name there, I don't think it is. I believe that's for Adam, that one. Um, I think it's a bit of a mix up with the slides there. I think there should be another kit there as well. But Adam Challenger donated the 35th scale uh, German motorcycle set. Uh, Sam McCord donated the Fujimi Mercedes AMG DTM. Uh, another kit we got with James's money donated, uh, the MiG-25 Fox Bath from Rebel. Peter also donated the 48 scale Type 10 Japanese Grand Self-Defense Force. Uh, so then to the third lot, Loft 4. Uh, we've got the Tarangus Bulldog T1, donated by myself. Uh, Adam Challenge also donated the Kodak film Chevrolet NASCAR. Tony Okakusho donated the 34 scale King Tiger from Meng. Uh, another one for me, we've got the Tan Model Lockheed T33 in 72 scale. Uh, 
Uh, Paul Chapman donated his live show prize with a brand new 48 scale Hawker Sea Fury from Earthix. Uh, Timothy Iverts donated the Hobby Boss A4 Skyhawk in 48 scale. Uh, Steve Bellaby also donated the Scammel Pioneer from IBG Models in 35th scale. Lovely kit. Uh, right, from Ultra Modern Products, but technically from the live show, uh, these are donated goodie bags. So we've got four of these in total. Uh, they'll be auctioned off in one go, and the four highest bidders will all receive one of those. Uh, from Ivan Jensen Taylor, another live crew member, we've got the ICM 40 scale JU88. Uh, James Olsen, again, do the donated prize money. Uh, we've got the Mustang Mark IV from the Atelier, which is actually a Hasegawa rebox with cartograph decals. Very nice. Tommy Calander donated Academy's Sukhoi SU27 with a canopy mask and interior etch set. Uh, he also donated the A10 Thunderbolt from Hobby Boss in 48 scale. Al McNeish uh, donated another live show prize of Tamiya's Matilda Mark III IV. Uh, another donated prize from Tony Okakusho is Italieri's uh, 1 9th scale German military motorcycle with sidecar. Uh, Luke Carswell donated his uh, MIG, no, get this right, these aren't finalised yet, do excuse me, we've got the uh, Harrier in 148 scale from um, Luke, and somebody also donated the MIG-15, not sure who, but they are together. Uh, myself, uh, we've got the 172 Hawker Typhoon and 172 uh, Photo Recon Spitfire from Earthix. Uh, Simon Spook donated an Academy um, F4 Phantom, it's not actually that one like I said, this list isn't fully finalised we are still working on it, it's a different Phantom and there you go, thank you for your uh, time and money this evening um, please come and join us and let's see what we can do for this fantastic charity right, as you can see absolutely plethora of um, auctionable items tonight, we've got everything there's all sorts of stuff in there uh, there's three airbrushes that we got, there's car kits, loads of aircraft, loads of armour, uh, not a lot of sci-fi. Um, we got any sci-fi? Did I see any then? Can't remember. Forgotten. Might be. Might not be. I forgot. Um, but we got all sorts of, there's all sorts of stuff. Uh, there's books, loads of things. So, like I say, make sure you're there tonight. It was half 7 UK, half 8 Europe, one thirty Central US. 4.30 Central Australia, I think it is. Please come and join us. Please bring money, uh, drinks. It's going to be a long night. Come and sit with us for the long haul. It'll be funny as well. Those live shows are always funny. Um, and yeah, come and join us. If you want to make a donation as well, um, <clears throat> over on the Live at the Bench page, uh, I'll put the link down below in the bottom of this video. Uh, There's our PayPal address. We're trying to do it as a combined effort of International Scale Modeler and the modeling community. You can donate directly to Models of Heroes if you want, but if you can do it for us, we can see what we can raise as collective. We got two and a half thousand pounds last year, we're trying to beat that. So if you want to make a cash donation via PayPal, just let us know. Uh, pop it through the PayPal address that's there, and uh, we'll sort it out that way. There we go. So I hope to see you all tonight on the ISM channel. Please be there. So we're going to start about quarter past seven, just a little bit earlier. The auction won't start till gone half seven though. And uh, please come, let's see what we can do tonight. Say hello in the chat. And if you see a kit or kit you want to bid on, just follow the directions. It's very, very simple. It's all in the chat. You need to be signed into YouTube uh, on your Google Plus account. And you're posting a sidebar chat. You've got your video there. Don't put it in full screen. Put it in either small screen or the next size up. And the chat, you might have to click something from the bottom. The chat's on the right-hand side. It's a live chat. Make sure you click live on the video to make sure you're up to speed or as it will play back from the beginning and you're behind massively. So when you're looking at the screen, look at the bottom left, there's a little live symbol. Click that and that'll take you to the live feed as it is. And just follow the directions. And it's as simple as that. Payment, you need PayPal, ideally. And uh, we need payments within 24 hours, preferably ASAP. The reason we want ASAP is, is so we can see what we've raised straight away that night. So there we go. Hope to see you tonight. Take care, everyone. See you later. Bye-bye.